Black Caucus formed after years of listening to complaints from employees. The complaints were never receiving a raise, no opportunity for upward mobility. Most of the goals for the Black Caucus were that they were basically to provide actually a vocal, an outlet for African Americans to actually come and express their concerns about uh, their employment here at UCSF. Membership in the caucus is not something you apply to be or sign up to be a member. You just go. As you were black, you were on campus, and the doors were open. Black Caucus members at their monthly meeting would hear about issues and discuss them at the meetings. And then based on those conversations, we would determine as a group what action to take. The campus as a whole wasn't that progressive, so we needed to be at the table. The protests at Laurel Heights in 94 had to do with some changes that were coming about from the regents of the University of California. His position was that affirmative action seemed to work against the interests of Dr. King, that affirmative action was unfairly giving preference to people of color and there were white folks who were being left out because of that. So Proposition 209 came out of that. And so a lot of organizations started showing up to protest at Laurel Heights. Because of Proposition 209, you will see a change in the numbers of African Americans. And I think even today, you'll probably see less African Americans than there were back in what were the heydays of the 70s and the early 80s. And as the campus actually expanded, it became even more difficult to get to know who the new African Americans were, for them to know that the caucus is there for them and that they're a part of the caucus. And when they have issues, that they can be dealt with. In 90, we started holding the annual Black Caucus Dance. And we would invite people from all the different organizations, faculty, students, staff, and we routinely got well over 400 people. The gala was as popular among white folks and Hispanic folks as was black folks. You know, I mean, all levels, department chairs, everybody loved coming to those galas. But it's just, let's do something that can be fun, but elegant fun. The gala for the Black Caucus, I think it was one of my first projects as part of being a caucus member. Everybody really wanted to be a part of it and wanted to be seen at the campus scales, Black Caucus Gala. So it was really very exciting. For the gala, it was for African Americans to invite us to get together to do an elegant evening. Also to invite the administration to give us a social event um, to come together and talk and to you know that we really could do things very well. Have an event that was sponsoring the caucus to raise funds for um, our different projects. The Black Caucus Reunion is an opportunity for quote unquote us old timers to see each other because many of us live all over the Bay Area and we want to know what's going on. seeing people, eating, you know, all of that. That's the best thing about the reunions. You know, it's just fun. Black Caucus Reunion is just a fun, memory lane gathering. It's more than just the organization. They are family. You don't have to be in the front to make change. Understanding how it works, you can still be an activist. Well, the caucus's work, I think, has been important throughout the ages. We really need other people to join and really to keep it going, to let people know the Black Caucus is still here. The history of what brought the Black Caucus about, um, there are things that we see now that were happening 
then. That's why the caucus was formed and why it's always important to know your history, to be vigilant, to know what to look for, and to know it's more than just about individuals. It's about us as a group, as a community, for us to survive, to be prosperous, that we have to work together to really do the things we need to do. And I think knowing our history always prepares us to be able to understand this is what happens, this is what we really stand for, and this is why we're here.